studio. So for y'all today, as always, like we always do, man. We want to know how y'all weekend went. I know it was Valentine's Day, so y'all gonna have to call in and tell us about tell us a little bit about that. Oh, we yeah. gonna touch on that. Yeah, we definitely got some some good topics for y'all today, though. It's gonna be a real good show. Uh, one of the topics we got early. It was Valentine's Day. We want to see if anybody got hit with some Valentine's Day excuses. Or you know who, got, who got <laughs> spent, man? Who got spent? Let who us know got spent? what happened. Y'all's going to keep it real with us, man. Keep it real with us, you know what I'm saying? And let me know. Let us know if you spent anybody for, thank, for, uh, for Valentine's We're Day. talking about Thanksgiving, man. What is he on? Oh, yeah, 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 man. That's a, that's a <laughs> I don't know where my mind at right now. Nah, um, we chilling, man. We had a nice little debate, so Randy still shook up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Everybody on there all mad at each other, man. I told him that they got to keep it light, man. I think we go. We might don't even just, take it to the workplace. We, we gonna bring that debate to y'all. Nah, man. We can't do it today. I thought we were saving. We're, like, I mean, we're gonna save it for Wednesday. We're gonna man. save it for Wednesday. Man, come on, bring it back out. I, I want to bring out while it's fresh and angry. Oh, Everybody's still angry. That's what y'all want to do. Oh, that's what I want to do. Wow, I want to bring that debate to y'all today. Let's switch the whole topic up on everybody, man. Yeah. No, nah, we we gonna hit the, we gonna hit this Valentine's Day one right there, right now though. Okay. So, <laughs> y'all let us know if y'all spent anybody on Valentine's Day, or if y'all gave somebody an impression that y'all was gonna be with them and then y'all played them. Or if y'all got played, you know, if you if y'all got did the wrong way on Valentine's Day, I want to know what happened. How was your Valentine's Day? Let us know if y'all had a good time. You know, give me some pointers. Let me know what I should do for next year. Like, tell me what's going on. What happened with y'all? How y'all felt? Did y'all have fun? Did you hate it? Was it your worst or your best? Call in 419-448-2200. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. Y'all know y'all I'm saying I just want to give y'all the number, though, so y'all can just yeah, hit us up. Yeah. Lock that in. Y'all need to have that by now. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to know, like, I want y'all to let us know what's gonna happen and whatever. Man, Avery, I'm not playing with you, man. You better hop on this mic and talk to these yeah, people. Yeah, man. man. What you you all over there sitting all What do you want me to say? Oh, sad. Talk to the people, man. You acting shy right now, man. This ain't you. you. What did you want me to say? <laughs> I think Avery still got it on his mind. Avery still got it on his mind. He got to. I just want to serve Randy so bad, and I just. You'll never I'm so serve ready for it. I'm just so. Randy can get served. You'll never say me, man. See. I ain't even gonna get into it. Y'all see later on. Man. It's gonna get real, just like it did in the in the room earlier. But y'all gonna call in and tell us how y'all feel. Man. It's, it's, Everybody's gonna call us Randy while he's mad. It's, it's crazy though, man. I'm not, no, I man, that's not the life out there. But it's gonna be. We always debate. I tried to ask everybody. I'm like, hey, man, everybody friends, man, for real. Like we gotta come back. <laughs> and we gotta work. Though, we gotta we gotta come back and go to work at the end of the day. So I'm like, man, come on, y'all gotta be friends. All right, all right, let's let's all chill out, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, Everybody, let's, calm let's, down. Let's start with Randy. You know what I'm saying? How how was your Valentine's Day? What, what did you do? Oh yeah, that was a great Valentine's Day, man. Shout out to Alicia. Um, we had a great Valentine's Day. She took me out. Um, where did we go? We we turned up then. Yeah, she took me she out. Took you know out. She let's took applaud out. her. Yeah, big <laughs> <laughs> round of applause. Shout out to her, man. But no, she took me out. We had a, a great time. We went to dinner with Brio. Um, the bill was crazy, but uh, it was it was a wow. it was a good night. Oh, y'all yeah. remember that topic? <laughs> yeah, I know y'all remember that topic. She, did she pay for it? Yeah, man, she paid for it. No, those spares. How much was it? I can't even drop the number down, man. Just know the bill was. What? Okay, okay. I can't even drop the number. No, you you tripping? She probably hid the check for you like a little. Oh time. my god! <laughs> <laughs> they probably came, they probably came and sat it down on your side, and she went over and there. And she, she grabbed me and said, "Don't get my letter, man." I probably just, I, I leaned back in the chair and I let <laughs> you know it. I hit the lid. <laughs> Go ahead, cuz. Don't even play around with it. So it just tell us what it was. The bill, we want to say 68.40. That's what I want to wow. say. Wow. That's a baby bill. There's nothing baby about See, that. There's nothing baby about that. The ball is like, hey, it might be a baby bill. But What's for me, you know what I'm saying? People out the car to swipe all day if you want. Yeah, that's no, 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 See, no, no, See, I thought you was going to sit up here and hit us with something like, the 98 joint or something like that. Nah, man. The 99 dollars that me and Kendall paid together. See, That's what you was talking about. You were talking about. See, if I even see a bill that, accumulating to that amount, I would just, see, I peep stuff during the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here. I'm not looking at the meals and the yeah, details. You can calculate. You can yeah, calculate you all the time in your head, man. You look at the bill. Yeah, yeah. You got to. No, uh, at some restaurants, they just don't show price. They do play around. Some restaurants don't hit you with the move at the end. You just order and it's just. And you lose. There. That's what happens. But no, it was a great time. No, I'm saying um, the great give exchange was also great. Had a great night, man. It was just a just an overall great Valentine's Day. Had a good weekend. How about y'all though? Turn I heard you got one of those sentimental presents, the one that don't have a you know a numeric value. Yeah, so. man. What's, what my girlfriend did, man. She no, no. I heard you. What? Oh, that I? Yeah, I heard that you <laughs> didn't get a, a gift that was 
you know, that had numerical value. I heard you got one that had sentimental value. I don't know what you mean. You got to explain. explain. I guess it had no me. sentimental value to him at all. You might wow. explain. Because if you just trying to give me trouble, man. <laughs> so what was your gift, Randy? So what was the gift? What was the gift that I got? Yes. I got a nice watch for Christmas along with some no, other things. No, Christmas. What? Give her. Excuse me. He just said Christmas. He said Thanksgiving first. Now I'm talking about Christmas. I got a lot of What am I talking about? This man's tripping. Valentine's Day, man. I got a nice watch. I'm talking about what you gave her. I'm talking about what you gave her. I'm talking about what you gave her had no numerical value. I heard it was just very, very sentimental. I gave her love, man. What you want me to do? Along with some other gifts. Ooh. That we're not going to talk about. At least if you're listening right now. Hey, you trying to do at least if you listen right now, I just want you to know that your boyfriend is cheap. She's all on my back. He could have went to Victoria's Secret and just went in there. They had the 5 or 27 going for off the whole story. Look, he man. played around with it. He didn't uh, do it? He didn't do it. Wow. Look, man. So wow. See, what I did was I got her some nice things out of Victoria's Secret. We made the trip right before I got there because there's nothing out here in Tiffin. So I had to make the move when I got to the land. That's what I did. That Now there's... Wow. Wow. So you got her some things after all. Yeah, what you want to you thought that was a storyteller? No, it's just that Avery said you didn't, so I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Avery says, man. You can't believe that, man. I'm just Avery. saying, then what did you get? What did I get? I got her. You've been playing around. How many times have I asked him? About three or four times. He hasn't told anybody. I got her a hoodie. I got her a bag. I got her. Uh, what else did I get her, man? She had to call up and tell you, man. I can't even Oh, you see, her. you don't know what you got her. You don't know what you spent your brain on to got her. Bro. I don't know about you. I, I know what I spent all my bread on. I know exactly what, what I spent my money on. Hey, yo, man. Hey, hey look. We Randy's about to go ahead and slide into some He's music. He's a lawyer. Go ahead and slide into some of this music, music, man. I got a banger coming to y'all. This song is for Randy because... See, they'll be playing around on the computer all day, man. He all happy. He ready. He glad he on the ones this, and twos. This song is so. for Randy because he doesn't know what he even got. You know what I'm saying? All annoying, man. <laughs> we gonna sign y'all out right now. good, man. man. First and the bees. We'll be back, bro. He gonna play single, though. He's silly, man. <laughs> I'm about to play another song, man. man. I got it. Wait. I just need you to just let me just handle it the Look, way I've been handling it. Let me work, huh? When DJ yeah. Kelly Kells behind, just step back, behind the ones and twos, y'all love it, man. Y'all want the yeah, people, to, want the people to vote on it? People, y'all want them to hit Twitter? <laughs> y'all want them to hit Twitter? Be like, hit Twitter and ask them, like, what, what, what you want? DJ Kelly Kells or, or Avery? Everything y'all name, dude. What you want to be called, man? That's DJ Fake Bill Russell. Say it again. Say it again. Bill Russell. I'm just the greatest, man. I'm just the greatest. Yes, you Look, you might have that little cut, player. Man. I'm a Come coach. In, yeah. DJ, I'm Kendall's father. I'm, I'm everything. You can call me. <laughs> wow. All right, let's, I'm I'm get, back, let's get back into the Valentine's Day thing. Hey, look, man. My girlfriend was calling her and texting me all on my back. Get her off the set right now. Let me... No, man, because she was telling me that I didn't tell everybody what to get. It sounds like it sounds like she wants you to just... For what I'm saying, it sounds like she wants you to just... You know, just hit those back streets to be home about two hours to go walk. Oh her. my god. That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like, doesn't it? Let us know what the <laughs> gifts were then. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, she got me a really nice watch and I really appreciate it. She also um was it was real a real sentimental gift. It's probably the one that I valued the most, which was she mm -hmm. um gave me like a list of things that she loved about me. It was a list of things oh. that me. It was real cute. Oh. I mean, so wow. he, he, nice is, is that the gift he didn't remember? A nice touch. That was the only thing he remember. <laughs> You don't have to lie to us. You don't have to lie to us. You don't have to lie to us. I got it. I was ready and I did appreciate everything that happened. Yeah. You talk about your Valentine's Day, so I'm getting on everybody else. Listen, I heard that he left it in the room at home. Wow. He didn't bring it with him. I'm hollering, man. You just got him in trouble. He's about to call the show just to send a cheek message. All right, enough of getting on Randy's back because he get we you know he done messed up so many times today. But uh, let me tell you about what happened here. Yeah, go tell about the <laughs> My mom all like, oh, that was a nice gift. Too bad Randy didn't remember it, mom. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she had to remind him. Didn't happen. But uh, Just yeah. So uh, my Valentine's that. Day it was cool. You know what I'm saying? I had I went out. You know I was uh with my I was with my brother and uh and my boy JJ. You know we all went out too. Uh, all together and uh and our friend or whatever so uh we all went out to uh, we went to go get uh some food at brio's first or we went to the mall first actually did a little shopping and then we uh we went to go eat at brio's too you know our bill ran me about 50 bucks so you know it wasn't <laughs> bad and 
and I'm not gonna lie, I just didn't tip her. You did tip her? <laughs> she was oh. terrible. She, was she terrible? played around so much. I gave her three chances, and she just she just failed terribly. So she got oh, no tip. Man. She got she didn't even get the change. Did you do the little lemon thing? And it, no, no, it wasn't the lemon. It wasn't the lemon test. No, it was a. It was a. When I sat down at the table, she came and was just, like, we got a little late, so she had brought them their food. And uh, she asked us what type of drink did we want, and I was like, uh, you know, bring me a, a a lemonade or whatever. And then she, you know, she it took her like an hour. You know, <laughs> it really just took her too long. Like she came back and was bringing more food and doing things. I'm like, hey, strawberry drink. lemonade. <laughs> I mean, it's it. all like, Same drink I, I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha, you, man. I'm strawberry gonna, lemonade. Yeah, she's like, I got gotcha. you. I'm gonna bring it strawberry over. Strawberry lemonade. Yeah, strawberry. I don't, I don't strawberry. know nothing about strawberry lemonade. lemonade. I'm all about water. Yeah, yeah. I was feeling good that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all were feeling good that day. No, no, Randy, you deserve it because you didn't pay for it. Yeah. Let me, let me finish though. Excuse my language. My, my mom's well, on you, my back talking about something. You should have gave her something. Well, mom, you didn't get that service. <laughs> it wasn't you who was there. <laughs> <laughs> but let me, let me get back to this though. So, so, um, so yeah, you know, we ate there. It was, the food was good. You know what I'm saying? My brother was upset because I got the same food as him because I'm not. I'm not used to eating that. I'm the burger joint type of guy. And it just was no burgers there. Like, it was an Italian pasta. Right? It was a pasta. Yeah, pasta look. So I got a little pasta and Parmesan chicken thing going on. It was real good. And uh, so then, you know, we left there. We go. We, we had to order some some tickets to, to a movie or whatever. So we go. So we, uh, we, we was going to the AMC on the west side. And uh, I guess that's the good one. You know, they, they got the pop machine that you got at Five Guys where you just get to choose any flavor you want in the, the world. The little touch screen button. Yeah, yeah, and you get, and it was a, uh, they got the nice good love seats or whatever so uh so we go we go there uh and i got they, they i show them my confirmation number that i paid for it on my phone so i show them the confirmation number and then the guy i don't know who what his name was but he was like something's wrong show me the email with the confirmation i'm like oh, it's man. right here it's right here why don't you just uh look at my phone with this confirmation number he was like something's just not working i called him he asked me for my credit card and i called him swiping around again i was like you already took 2150 off my card <laughs> hand me my card back before i get upset so then so then this man handed me my card back and uh he had, handed me my card back and i told him like i was asking what was wrong so i called my brother because the email was on his phone so he came up we showed him the email and the confirmation on my phone but yet it was still a problem so then that's when, you know, I'm starting, you know, the movie starts in, in like three minutes. I'm starting to get upset. Like, you know what I'm saying? Can we get in here now or what? And, and then he's like, let me call my manager. So he brings the manager in. And this lady, you know, she was, uh, she came in all cool, like trying to figure out what the problem is. She did the exact same thing that he did. So now we have a repetitive action and I'm starting, you know, the movie starts in like two minutes. I'm getting upset. I'm, I'm starting to, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, can you just, just, just give me my ticket. You know what I'm saying? I reserve the seats. Or whatever so you see it it's on my phone it's on my brother's phone let me get my ticket so i can go in or give me my money back so i'm like so she's like yeah well it's just not showing that you paid and stuff and i showed her my hunting where it took the 21 dollars off my account and then she and it just got worse from there she just kept telling me i didn't pay so wow. then so then i screamed in there to this lady but there was 50 people <laughs> waiting behind me i'm just yelling oh man there's like 50 people waiting to get in this movie everybody's trying to go in there to see 50 shades of gray right and i'm like I'm like, look, man, give me my money and I need it now. <laughs> and I said in the firm voice, like, I don't even want to see the movie anymore because you're playing around with me. I'm upset. Give me my money and I need it right now. And then it just escalated from there. She went to call the police wow. and it was just, you know, it, it was just a big show out there. The Everybody was upset. You know what I'm saying? And basically the thing that happened was my money, it just, it got taken off my card, but they didn't receive it somehow, which was a misunderstanding between the both of us because I was losing money and they weren't gaining money. So we were both just upset. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm losing yeah. 2150. I'm like, you're not going to get any free money out of me. Like, either I'm going to watch this movie, you're going to get my money, basically. So, and they was just like, well, I didn't receive any money, so we can't do anything for you. And I was really threatening to whoop everybody in there. I almost, <laughs> almost went around the counter and slapped the, the guy that was back there. I don't know his name, but he just... He was gonna suffer, man. It was his, you know, because because he was playing around, man. Blew through the glass and got holding the popcorn. Man, and it, it, was, it was everybody in the way would have just lost that night. <laughs> and, I, and I felt sorry for them because I was just so angry. I haven't been that mad in a minute. It would have got ugly. It would have got ugly for everybody. And I'm glad that the police officer was was able to come in and calm it down. But that was my Valentine's Day. That's the way it ended. It was, you know. It was a good start. It was a good. We had the mall and we we had the the good food, and then that thing it just whooped us around, you know. So then it just after that we just chilled out and called it a day. Started watching movies and stuff at the at the crib. Netflix going. I'm the Netflix man. 
So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the way it happened. Are you the Netflix man? I am the Netflix man. I'm glad you admitted. <laughs> that's how I be, man. Hey, how was your Valentine's Day? It was just so wonderful. It just was probably one of the greatest things we've ever had, man. It just was just so chill. It was, it was just real, real chill. Like, um, I got, you know, I got held up in, you know, other complications, and I was cooking that night. Um, anybody knows, you know, that knows me, that I like, to, that I like to cook. Um, and I like, to, I like to do it early, like you know, you know, I want to get dinner started around like, you know, like three or four, you know, on the early side. You know how you, you know, eat Thanksgiving dinner on the early side, you know. So, I, you know, complications happened. I didn't start cooking. My food didn't get done until like 12.40 at night. My mom was sick. He, he was done on the late He said he starts at 3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Starting yeah. as usual. What a good day. He starts at 3. Yeah, man. That's what what I had dinner until what See, time? See, what I made? 12.40. See, because what yeah. I made, I made chicken and dumplings, man. Chicken and dumplings, the prep time is so long, and it takes like an hour to cook by itself because it got to simmer and everything, you know, it got to just take its time, you know, man. The dough got to rise in the pot. It's just a whole lot of action going on, and just, I just got held up. <laughs> Let's just say that. I just, so I, just did, I just got held up. Did y'all go nowhere that day because you were cooking the whole time? Yes. We ain't no wrong, man. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong, bro. We were supposed to hit it, right? I was with a cook, get it done. My mom was sick, so you know the whole chicken, you know the whole chicken broth, man. It was gonna help her, you know, get better. Right. So she all sick, just all laying around and everything, man. I was just trying to help her. Then, food finally get done. I couldn't go see Fifty Shades Grey. I read the book, so I'm real salty about it. Um, because and I heard it was trash, so you know that's crazy. So I'm probably just gonna, you know, watch it for free. You two are fired. Oh my god. I don't know what you're talking about. That's, that's <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. If either. I was to do that, then it probably would be that. But you know, I'm not gonna say that. Okay. okay. But um, then after that, uh, kick and just watch, just watch like movies. Just was just kicking me on Netflix. Yeah. And after that, um, I went to go try to like. I wanted to just try to, you know, like get out of my driveway at about four o'clock in the morning, and I got stuck in my driveway. Where were you going at four in the morning, boy? I was taking Talia home. Wow. So it was about, you know, four o'clock in the morning. We were trying to take her home, bro, and like I got stuck. It was so crazy. I just got so stuck <laughs> outside in the snow, and then I had to like try to like show myself out. And then after that, um, I got tired of it. I called my mom, and then my mom came outside. She was all sick, and she helped me get out. And Mommy came to the rescue. Yeah, bro. Like I tried to call my mom out there, man. My mom's is just a superwoman, man. She, she had to be. She, she came out. Y'all looked around by the snow, and then mom said to come through and save your life. I don't want to have. She came out there and did it in ten minutes. It was just so terrible. <laughs> wow. Give me that shovel, boy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> she came outside with the whole man, the whole scarf around her mouth and all that, man. Like she was in the frozen tundra. Wow. And she just was. You need to shovel right the here. Ground zero. Wow. Man. Now let me get in this seat and let me operate. And uh, she did it, and then she just got a bottle there. Yeah. Wow. No one's the Saudi Saudi with the shovel in my mouth. She'd be like, oh, boy, you're not going to shovel the mouth of my driveway. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to shovel the mouth of my driveway. Let me up out of here. You want to just run around and stuff. She's so Saudi when it comes to shoveling. I'll be like, let's just get a snow blower. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. all that no, but, man, look, man. Yeah. No, man, at least you got a mom like Brandy who just... Who just tried to bribe us? She tried yeah, to bribe us. She got us so good. Who shoveled us? She bribed me on hot chocolate. She wow. did, bro. Food, bro. Wow. She bribed us with food. She was like, we were, I'm just like, mom, we're, it's real, we're getting real hungry, you know? And she was like, yeah, my, my driveway is looking real rough. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 What y'all gonna do? Wow. Like, yeah, there's shovels in the garage. It's up to y'all. I'm talking about we did. <laughs> I'm talking about we did so much. I'm talking about we even cleared off the stairs. Yeah, man, wow. there was so much action. Hey, that is silly, man. But Juice, tell us about your your V day. What, what what happened? I kicked it, boy. You kicked it? I kicked it. I didn't do anything. You mean like with your feet up at home? Yeah, boy. Wow. You didn't even see anybody this weekend? No, no, I mean, I, no, I ain't saying that. You know, I, I I went home, saw what I had to saw, did what I had to do. But on Valentine's Day, man, I was killing the house. Wow. So you, house you, on Valentine's so you Day. didn't see anybody this weekend. I didn't say that, boy. You heard what I just said. Okay. He said this weekend. No, he said it on Saturday. Saturday. He's playing wild. He's playing on Saturday. Oh, my God. Saturday, you was the chill, man. Yeah, I was so kicking you, it, man. So did you have some plans and then you gave him an excuse? Like you had to go back to school No, I didn't, I didn't hit nobody with no excuse, man. I was just chilling. Nobody wow. ties the excuses. So since we are talking about excuses, it's a great transition. I know. Thank yeah, you. Let's talk about these Valentine's Day excuses. You know, some of y'all girls thought y'all was the main girl, but 
Truly, y'all the side girl, and y'all believe them too, man. Let us know what they told y'all. I want to know what it's used to. Yeah, they got y'all. Yeah, we don't got to hear you no names. You know what I'm saying? They got hit up on Sunday instead. Yeah, they got hit up on Sunday. Anonymous, you know what I'm saying? But they probably got hit up Friday. Because he was like, yeah, man, I got to go back to school. And I got a recruit, man. Yeah. <laughs> so much going on. I got on, a recruit. I got, <laughs> I got things to do, man. Yeah, you know? I wonder who got hit with those excuses, man. Because I know we got real this weekend. Up, you know? I wonder how many fake injuries there was out here. Yeah, like, injuries. How many car accidents. And I just can't uh, drive. I'm on some ice. The tire first. My tire. Man, my, man, my, the my, 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 <laughs> my axle broke outside because of the ice. And they just was... I ain't got no gas, and I just the, the snow just is so just much. too so high. Crazy. It's just <laughs> like anything, the man. snow is just too high for me to come out today, baby. Just, I'll see you tomorrow on side. Man, I know it was some excuses because it was in, in Cleveland. It was snowing real bad, man. You woke up that morning, well, it was a blizzard outside on Saturday. Hold on, hold on. We all just sit up here, man. We all get on the girls. What about the side dudes? Side, side dudes. dudes. Side dudes. Did, did the side dudes? Side dude Friday. I don't know, man. The girls. Y'all gotta, gotta, let, gotta let us know, man. Call in four one nine four one eight twenty two hundred. I think y'all talk about this Valentine's weekend went, man. I think they really get Friday. I don't know about Sunday. Though. They get Friday. I don't, I don't know, man. It's, it's Side Man Sunday. I think it was Side Man Sunday. Sunday. Side Man Sunday. That sounds wow. all right. Yeah, it had to be Sunday. That's yeah. what. <laughs> that's what. You talking about? You talking about like Side Side Do Sunday where he just doesn't get the same gifts that the main dude got on Saturday? The main Does dude, he get a gift? He he gets, no, 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 no. He gets one. The main dude got like look, look, man, look, bro. The main dude got those new drawings that just came out. And that side dude got the side dude elevens. That's what he got. Or was it like the terrible joints? Was it like the main got the? If y'all follow us on Snapchat, probably the ones that Randy got from Walmart. Oh, <laughs> oh, for, for what was it? Fourteen dollars? Oh 14? my God! You talking about side the dude? Right I'm talking about the nurse at home elevens. The side dude, uh, aka right the side dude elevens. I know you're probably walking on the cloud right now, bro. Oh my! More power to you. I can't. Oh my God! I can't. I can't take y'all serious. <laughs> oh my God! I can't take y'all serious, man. Oh. Call us anybody get some music popping. Y'all call us in, and after that, <laughs> oh yeah, yo, hit the line four one nine four four eight twenty two hundred. Yeah, once y'all call in, we gonna <laughs> we gonna definitely uh stop the music for y'all though. So, do we have any listeners today? Do it seem like real dead right about now? Wait till this topic come out. They'll come oh, out. Yeah, yeah. I think they, they must be ready for that transition. We they might have to break out on music. Go. Hey, I got you though. It's going. Go go. Your girl showing her body. So, do you make your girlfriend no. a t-shirt and shorts when she goes to the beach? No, bro. No, no, nobody said this. Nobody no, no, that she her. Can they look at her cleavage then? They can, is no. that okay? No, is that yeah, that's that's too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A stag right Randy, you might as well convert to Muslim because that's what you sound like. You yeah. want your, you want your to walk around yeah. with a veil over her face. I know so much. Everybody, 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 everybody oh, listening man. agrees with me on this topic. Call no, because you tell me that. 448-2200. Y'all not on Juice back about it. Y'all on my back about it. It's because Juice is annoying. You call in and share, share their opinions because they're annoying. No, because you're annoying, bro, because you really, you really sit here and now, and now you're talking about if she wanted to explore herself, if she wanted to do that, she I'm couldn't do it because she doesn't have any values. What? For one, you don't have any values because you're a hypocrite because you had your you would pop top on there. Bro, you can't. So that means you nothing. Know. You no, know, what you're saying means nothing because because if she's because if you pop top so on there, you ever take a picture, top. you ever take a picture with your shirt off and we're not saying that, you're saying that. That's I'm asking. Answer, hey, this is the this is the question I'm asking. I'm saying that you do you, do you believe that, that you explore yourself? I'm, I'm saying, saying that you're you exploring yourself. I'm saying that you're with your shirt off. If I take a picture of my shirt off, I'm exploring myself. Yes. Yeah, you gotta explore yourself because you must be selling sex. Because wait, you not have selling anything, bro. Bro, I got paid for that picture. I hold didn't, on, bro. I didn't hold, on, let me, hold on, let me ask you a question. So when you take a selfie with your shirt off, right, do you not show your tattoo every time? Is that hey, not selling sex? Or not? Or not? It. it was over with the shirt when I got the chest tat. <laughs> or not? Shirts got so thrown messed up with the chest tat. So you explain your body when you showed that tattoo? I was, I was expressing my, my, I was, what I was doing was expressing my tattoo. My love for my tattoo. I was flaunting. You could have took a close-up. I was flaunting. Up. You could have took a close-up. You didn't do that. What you mean close-up, bro? A close-up picture of your tattoo. You could have shown that artwork on the paper, but yet... You chose to take your picture off and show a full body pic of what you had going on. Did he also have a face? We're talking about the way you were splitting your body. Did he also have a face? He still likes on Instagram as opposed to someone who gets paid for doing it. It's nowhere near. How much money did you get for exploring yourself on Twitter? 
None. And okay. how much did Kim Kardashian get for those pictures and, uh, of Prada and stuff? I don't. I'm not going to get more than you, bro. Like, what are y'all talking about? She got about? thousands more than you, and you did the same thing that she did. Look, man. Y'all not making real good strong arguments. This is no. You not making strong arguments. You're a hypocrite. You are a switch batter. You got both sides of the plate. You don't know what you're talking about. We're talking about a road. Can we go to commercial? What y'all trying to present? Can we go to commercial? That's why we not. If y'all notice, that's why we not argue with Juice. The Juice gave us his reasons, and Randy's just no. Juice has no reasons. My bad. He has no reasons. He has no reasons. My reasons are great reasons. Juice doesn't want to talk about his great. He doesn't want to step in his arguments. Who said that? Shelly. I don't care what Shelly talking about. Tell Shelly to call in. She has a number. Yeah, everybody call her. Call in and let her know how she feels. 419-448-2200. It's all good. She tweeted real good, but she she won't have anything to say. She won't call that line. <laughs> Shelly will not make that call. We'll be back, man. So you know, if you know somebody to back you up, tell them to call in and back you up then. If your girlfriend does not have a problem with it, why do you have such a problem with it? If this is my, your if this is your means, if my this girlfriend should have a problem with it. If this was her that I picked out, you know what I'm saying? Is if she's a girl that I picked out. Then she, we should be okay. on the same wavelength. Okay, right. So this shouldn't even be a question. No, okay, see, right. you, what, the point you right. made was that you would, you would be scared that. Look, this is what he says. Say, what if, 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 what if she not loyal, then she gonna go home with him. But if she your, if she your girl, like she say she is, she gonna be loyal and just make that money and leave. She's not gonna go home with Floyd. And what and what Randy said earlier is that is that stripping also is a job. So we gonna call these strippers out here and ask them, are you doing a job? Do you not put in hours like everybody else? Is she feeding her. What's wrong with what's she wrong with putting that energy toward a nine to five? If you're not even college, if you have a high school education, you, you're smart, you know what I'm saying? You're, you had you're, you drive, you know what I'm saying? You put all the effort toward twerking and learning how to do dance moves, you can put that toward your profession. That is their profession. Why not putting that toward a, a regular 9 to 5, B? Because they want to work that job. That is their profession. You, you're right. Why don't they put it to their profession? How do you know they don't sit at home and dance in the mirror? That's oh, what I'm saying. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Wait, so like you saying that strippers can't have another job? Like they can't want more for themselves? I've like, never said that. I've never no, said that. No, you're saying that's what they want to do solely. I never said that. I don't know what they want to do. Strippers will be, like, like, be going to school okay. and trying to pay off school. That's the, I mean, that would be what they're doing. Okay. And this is what we're doing. So why don't you ask Ray that question? No, I asked him that because he because said Because Ray has a problem with it, period. When we talked about it in the room earlier, he said it's not a job. So if that's how she working, she paying off her bills. No, it's not, Ray's yeah, not a it's problem with it. Ray would still have a problem with it. I know it. Look, is it a problem if she's doing that to get through school to, to be a lawyer? Is it a problem? I'm, I'm, that's that's a problem. I'm asking you. Is it a problem with her stripping the bill to pay off her bills? So I was asking you. Excuse me. So you so now it's not a problem for her to strip to pay her bills so she can be a lawyer. No, I, I was asking so you that. You the one that said that, that she I, wanted to be a so We talking about real life people. Uh, we talking about like people that I'm not involved with. Yes, I, I, I had no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? People that I'm not involved with, you want to strip it to to make it big and something and some other aspiration. That's just fine. But my girlfriend, no, that's not that's the route you're going to go. Some people got to do what they're going to do. Some people got to do what they're going to do. Okay, no, okay, but they want more for the But, but you, you just said that, yeah, it's okay if, if she strips. To pay off her bills or her tuition so she can be a lawyer. That's what you just told me. You said it three times in a row. Yes, I asked you that. And I asked you you it back and you said yes three times. times. So is it a yes or no? Is that okay or is it not okay for her to strip to pay off her tuition so she can be a lawyer? Yes, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, okay. so now so, you got wow. so, now, so now you're okay with her. Now it's okay with her splitting her body so, so, so she can be okay school. With All I said, what do you mean? I never said that stripping wasn't a job. What but you, you, said, you said that you wouldn't allow her to do it. I wouldn't allow my girl. We ain't talking about my girl. So, that's what we're talking about. So you no, wouldn't allow her to, to strip to get through uh to get through law school. We're not talking about my girl. I'm talking about it now. Would you let your girl you wouldn't let her strip to get through law school? No. Are you gonna pay for it? No. So what do you want her to do then? What you mean? What you want? What I want her to do? What do you? What do you? What are you gonna do then? She you gonna have to handle that? Send her to the temp agency. She gonna handle it herself. She gonna have to handle herself. You're not even morally supporting her. She's terrible. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna be back, yeah, man. We're gonna be back, man. Make sure you hit the phone line though. Be back, be back, be back. Yo, definitely way different from being a stripper. It don't matter what you model. If you're a model. You're a model. If you're a stripper. I mean, you don't have no respect, basically. So let me ask you this question. But what initially what Randy said was, is that Randy did not care if she was a model and she was 
just getting naked on camera and taking pictures. That's what Randy said. Right, it's a part of her job. But as a stripper, is that not your job too? I mean, it is your job, but it's not the same because... So what are you saying, Shelly? It's not a good job for me, bro. That's what I'm saying. Look, what I'm saying is that is that Randy sitting up here and he's agreeing to one thing and he's not agreeing to something else. What I'm he's saying not is the stripper right is in a good job for me. Being a stripper... Oh, he cut me. Well, I, I just heard the strongest point right there. Him saying that those fuckers. Same thing. The only thing you're saying is that it's not the same thing. Like, you're really not explaining us anything. Like, if she's showing her body one way or another to get to get money, she's doing it. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's getting posted through Twitter. It's it's earning revenue through showing your body is what it is. You said... Because you're a model and you're, and you're getting paid. A model, first of all, saying you're a model has a different title than saying I'm a stripper. Someone is proud to say that they're a model. Nobody. They're not even called strippers anymore. Exotic dancers, whatever you want to say. It okay. just doesn't matter. I said they're not called strippers anymore. They're called exotic dancers. But I understand what you're saying. I do understand that. But it's still, the concept of the basis is the same thing. She's posing new. This girl's new. They're both getting money for it. And it's both their jobs. And you're, you're saying that the title is different. What's different from, they're, they're both tainted as being a stripper or a new modelist. It's a tainted title regardless. There's just something about the title, having the title of model and having the title, the title is different. Names. The title Get makes it completely different. Seriously. I agree that it's the same thing. Let's talk, but I agree I that titles just make it different. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Well, thank you for calling that. That's all I need to know. I'm glad that you agree. <laughs> yep. All right, Shelly, thank you. Come on, Camille, you can do what yeah. you're talking about. It, it sounded like, yeah, at the end of the day, it was a tainted title. title. You know what I'm saying? She agreed regardless at the end of the day. As I figured, she should have, Randy. Wait, what? Yeah, what? You, you didn't know what was going on? Oh, y'all lucky, man. Birds and the bees, what's going on? What's up, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Hello? Who is this, man? Talk to us. Yo, what's, what's your good? name, man? Where are you calling from? I don't know why y'all sound so far away. Cut the mics up, cut the mics up. What's good, mic. bro? What's up, man? I see y'all talking, talking about, uh... Would you allow your significant other to strip? Yeah. Go ahead and talk. Go ahead and talk to us, man, bro. Hey, man. Look, if my girl came to me and she wanted to strip, shit, I would let her. Yeah, see, see, man. See, that's what. See, that's what I'm talking about. Tell me why you would let her do it, bro. Keep it clean, bro. Look, man. First of all, uh, you gotta keep it clean, bro. I got you. I got you. First of all, uh, I know my girl well for real. You know what I'm saying? I know she would just be, you know, I was doing that just to get the money. You know, it wouldn't be no, no funny business, no, uh, private dances, nothing like that. Private dances, that like, it don't matter. Hey, we, me and Ken don't agree with you. It's, a, it's just Randy that's just so mad, he just doesn't understand it. It's about trust at the because, end of the day, man. Because you know Randy feels like it's not about a numerical issue. He said it's just not, it's just not about money. It's just not about currency. I think I understand. It's just that, that, that Randy just doesn't trust his. Oh, bro, it's not that. It's about. It's about. Mm. I don't know what it's about. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, it's cool. It's cool, George. Thanks for letting us know who is up, yeah, bro. I'm glad you, you, you calling in, bro, bro, and listening to us. Definitely, man. You already know, bro. All right, bro, bro. This man's all over my back, man. It's not that I don't trust her. I just don't want her to be in that predicament. Man. That predicament for what? Predicament for what? Say for cause. anything. For happen, anything bro. like anything like what? What are you scared of, Randy? The predicament of what? I do just. Just what? Hold on. I do doing do what? I do doing what, Randy? Tell us what's he gonna do? Bro, I do I what? I want my girl in an environment where she's shaking her butt for money. Now no, he's, he's scared to say it. Now he's scared to say it. But I'm saying that he is not gonna finish his statement. He said he he doesn't want her being like ridiculous. What do you want me to say, bro? This girl to do and then he's gonna talk about anything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We all 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 we Hey, hey, Avery, this is Shana. What's good? Uh, I was just calling, like, I agree with y'all, but I understand where he's coming from, but if that's, like, her only way of, like, supporting herself, then she should be a she should have a problem with it at all. Thank you, man. Nobody said it. Nobody would. Excuse me, Randy's upset. Let him talk to you real quick. Okay. 
All right, now you talking about it was if, it, if this your girlfriend and this is the only way to support her, if this is the only way she to support herself, that's what you're saying? Yeah, like this your girlfriend and you don't have no way to support her and she don't have no way to support herself. Okay. If the if stripping is the only way to go, then that's her way to go. She doing it until she can get on her feet. She just doing it to get on her feet. But my thing is, if I gotta put my girl in that predicament where she has to oh, strip, is her is her only means, then you can be single, baby. You can do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? I, I ain't even I ain't even gonna put you in that type of predicament. So you saying that you don't have that you're not gonna support her at all? No, 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 no. no. Tell me that I don't her have her dreams of oh, this No, 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 no. Some shit like that. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. She is giving good feedback. Shut up, baby. You gotta keep it real, real clean. Real clean. But no. But my thing is. What I'm saying is, wow, I just lost my thing. He's about to serve you. Yeah, no, no, he's, he's whooped around. Oh what you're doing God. is, you're That's throwing weird. good points at him, and he doesn't know how to he respond. He doesn't know how to respond. What you're doing is great, you know what I'm saying? That makes us four against those two. And uh, he just doesn't know what's going on. That's why he has his, his hand by the bang button. He wants to give oh, you up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying? trying to bang him. He's, he's upset, you know what I'm saying? You you can't you made a good point you know what I'm saying if, if that's her only means you know what I'm saying she should do it till she get on her feet this like I said thing. to pay for law school maybe she gotta do that to this is my to thing. put food on the table for a while until she finds you another told job. Me I don't have it if I don't have it at that time um, then no I'm not gonna put my girl in a predicament where she is forced to strip you shouldn't be in a relationship where you're forced to make money you're, the only way you can make money is to strip that's what I'm not gonna put you. God's gonna see you struggles and you're gonna have to find out how to like think for yourself and if it's if it comes down to the point where you got to do something that you know you're not gonna like doing but you got to do it to make that money make that money it's not like she out here selling herself or something like i understand you wouldn't want your girl to be out here stripping in front of other dudes because you don't want no dude to walk up to you like oh i saw your girl at the club last night hey she got a nice butt or something but if that's what she got to do, she got to do it. And that's something you're going to have to eat. You're going to have to deal with it. Especially if you love that person. Not gonna bring his love into it. Good point, man. Because Randy just doesn't know how to accept it. I'm glad that you called in. You came in with some good points. Thanks for, for uh, listening and letting us know how you feel about everything. Yeah, 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 we, appreciate, appreciate we appreciate it all, though. For we real. appreciate it. All right, bye, Eber. Uh, come on. Uh, you can't tell me about right. 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 Tashana was all over Randy's back. All good points, though. No, no, Randy, she whooped you. She served you. She didn't whip me, bro. All I'm saying is, I'm not going to put my girl in a predicament where the only option is the strip. Hold on, hold on, hold on, pause. And we talked about this Stop, just stop yelling. Stop yelling. You can say what you want to say. No, because everybody keeps getting scared. Everybody keeps texting me like, I want to get served. So you're going to have to stop yelling. All right, calm down. Everybody chilling, bro. Wait, wait, wait. We always start calling. You know what I mean? But some people, they don't mind this at all times. They don't understand that. This is how we talk. Yeah. No, 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 just like, we, 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 we ain't going to get it, man. We are here. But no, I'm just not going to put my girl in it with you, tripping. Like, her last option is not going to be the strip. Because of me. I'm not going to let that happen. So whoever, whoever said it was your fault. That's what, you, that's what she said. She brought, she brought it up that you're not, you're not bringing home enough begging for her to, to provide for you and her. If we were so she has to... Strict. If we're talking about present speak. day, let's say, you know what I'm saying, we talk about present day, you're at school, you're here, and we're playing football, we have no time to work. How can you provide for her from here? Well, she's going to have to make so you would, So you would break up with her because she had to provide for herself while you're here. What do you mean? Like, you just you said you would break up with her if she had to strip. You can't provide for her right now, so you would break up with her. Yes. I know, Randy. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to put my girl in a predicament where she's trying to provide for her. Her and myself at the same time she, and all that other stuff, bro. Like, it's not bro. even about you getting provided for. We're talking about. Man, I'm not gonna let her, her do that. Oh, you stop. Stop. stop! You stop! You have that. You have that Calm down. Calm down. If, like I said, if, if it's my girl, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna pick a girl that has all these good qualities about her, where she doesn't have to rely on stripping. She doesn't have to rely on her assets to make money. She has an intellect. She has other things going for her, where she wouldn't have to rely on her body. So you telling me? That. So you telling oh, me? Okay, nah, so yeah, I know, I know what y'all, I know what y'all about to do. Y'all about to take this and flip it and make it seem like he's saying strippers don't have intellect. Yeah, I saw, 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 I He's on the pick yelling, bro. See this happening in the room. No, everybody can see it, bro. I'm saying, like, you it's not the fact. He he's not trying to say it. I mean, because females are smart. Female females are intelligent. They got intellect. They got all of that. But I'm saying, he just he want he wants somebody that's going that's not going to want to 
avert to just using her body, her female assets to make money. But but what if that's what he's saying? We I was just explaining my point. As like I said earlier, what if it's just just a just a picking up to get me started? It's like we all gotta start somewhere. And yeah. Tashana, as Tashana said, is maybe it was her last resort for the moment. She's doing it just for now. You know what I'm saying? It's not a boat. Yeah, well, nobody's gonna be there forever. I, I mean, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't imagine. Tashana said. Saying. Tashana just texted me. She said that. Okay, Randy, if you want to break up with her, then that means that you really don't love or care about her, which I can agree about. No, that. I love her because enough. I know, no, no, I love her enough to you, let no. you. See, look, you you really, really controlling. You love her enough so that everything is going your way and not hers. See, because love is a two-way street, and you're not playing that way, Randy. You just make it it's just one way. Exactly. And that's the only way she can get it. That's what you're saying. You don't have to Nobody wants to strip, bro. I'm going I'm to I'm find another outlet for it, bro. I'm going to go job searching for her. Stop it, I don't want to have to. Randy, I'm going to go job searching for her. I don't want to Stripping is not the only option Randy, out here. You, you, you just said that nobody wants like a stripper, the, and I, I know guys who date strippers, so do not speak I for everybody. I said nobody wants it. Who said Don't speak for everybody. I didn't say that just now, bro. You you hear what you want to hear, man. Man, Randy. Everybody need to chill out right now. You're the only one who's upset, right? It's not. It's not. Everybody's on my back. I got about hold on, hold on, hold on. on my back right hold on, now. Hold on, because so you saying that? On my side. So you saying that, that they weren't intellectual if they stripped? That's no, bro. Dude, what did I say? Everybody, calm down. No, 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 no. He can't even say that. I'm not even with it. 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 Calm down, or I'm gonna have to cut and go to music. Now, listen to this bear. <laughs> Don't stop running on, man. Damn, no, Yo, man, 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 you man, know man. what I'm talking about. Man, man. Man, man. Man, man. Man, man. Man, that, bro. That's That's the beginning. We will be right back, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, about him. Coming down from the ceiling. Kids, you. Did we say that, Randy? Yeah, man. Randy's adding so much stuff to it now, like. There's I'm not adding, bro. Let me All go. Right, go, go ahead. Because I mean, you, 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 now you're saying you got another that that you you can, you're able to. You you. Right, you're always thirty years old. You should be able to. Let's take this card. Hold on. Birds and the bees. What's happening? Uh, so my name is uh, Beast. When I'm trying to get through the show, come on. What's good, bro? You on now? You on right now? Some cut radio down. Oh yeah. Um. Hey. Hey. Hold on. Cut your radio down. Cut your radio down. Uh, what I, um, I'm just calling real quick because I'm a old friend of Randy. I ain't telling you his, like, rescue or nothing. <laughs> ain't nothing like that, fam, but, you, you know, I'm a, just calling to be like, I understand where he's coming from because, you know, I understand that some dudes, you know, ain't so up with it about girls you know, showing their body and stuff. And I understand that because I'm that way too. I'll, you know, go out of my way to make sure that she's straight and everything. And I know it's all coming from too because y'all got a different preference about it, but it's just some guy's preference about it all is just that, you know, we try to provide for her so that way she's straight. And, you know, if, if we can prevent her from going out and trying to sell her body, you know, it's all good, you feel me? Yeah, 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 make a whole bunch of sense. Yeah, it's all about perspective, G. That's it all it's about. It is, but but what? See, what we had a problem with is that Randy just wouldn't. Randy's so mad because we chose a different route, and we've been on this for all literally all day. And he got so mad at us. I know it. <laughs> I know it was right though, because you know, like that's that's something that you know can't get to the core because you know us. I'm not going to say just as a black man, but as being a man, we protective in our nature and especially protective of our significant other and someone that's close to us. And, you know, I'm just saying that we can prevent her from going out and exploiting her body and keeping something that, you know, just like J. Cole said, you know, how you get that feeling of knowing that what she got is yours, you know, that's valuable, and you're just trying to keep that close to yourself, you feel me? Yeah, I feel you. Uh, but is it yours again at the end of the day when she comes home to you, or is it then someone from back at the club still? I, I'm unaware. I mean, it, you know, that's the thing, like, you can't really, you know, 
control what she do when she out there at the club. And that's where the faith has to come in that, you know, she, she staying down. But, you know, it's just, I understand where Randy coming from and being protective. And I know where y'all coming from and being like, you know, she's trying to make sure she got hers while I'm out. You feel me? All right. I understand what you're saying. You got some good points. And, you know, I'm not even going to argue you today. <laughs> hey, good good, good luck. I mean, good, good though, stuff bro. calling in today, bro. Letting us know what was up. Yeah, we appreciate it, bro. Without saving Randy. Uh, I got you out No problem. All right. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. I think he's a little biased because he's Randy's friend. Da -da -da, oh, Superman! You know, everybody else. <laughs> but yeah, bro, at the end of the day, it's all about perspective, man. I mean, not just because people got different views on, on certain opinions don't make them, you know, like, don't act necessarily have to, you know, avert their they values or their morals. You know, that, that's not saying nothing about their character. You feel right. me? But I mean, and I mean people going to think differently about a lot of stuff at the end of the day. But I mean, what's they going to do? I brought this up earlier, man, and they're going to say whatever they want to say over here, but I like to know different perspectives. That's why I'm asking these questions, you know what I'm saying? I like to get around other people and see where people heads at, you know what I'm saying? I like to see where you're coming from. I like to see where people coming from, and I like to evaluate your, your process of thinking, you know what I'm saying, and apply it to mine somehow. That's all I'm about, man. All right, well, go ahead and introduce that subtopic before I get all over you. Subtopic, you know what I'm saying? So you down the road a little bit, well, 20-something now, 10 years down the road, is it still cool? You should be established at that point. But if she still wants to strip, is that still cool? We got a phone call real quick. Birds and the Bees, what's going on? Hello. Say it again, say it again. Birds and the Bees, what's up, bro? Oh, yeah, extra love. What's good, man? What's up, man? Y'all yeah, still talking about these strippers, man? <laughs> yeah, bro, we, we talking <laughs> about the strippers, man. Who is that, man? This Kale's. Oh, man, the air. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you silly, bro. What'd you say? I said you silly, bro. Man, y'all ain't just trying to let y'all girl strip, man. You you said are we really trying to let our girl strip? Y'all not trying to let y'all girl strip? No, me and Avery said that we would. Randy and Juice said that they wouldn't. I feel like Randy and Juice are very respectable, but they're very wrong. I don't know what's wrong with those guys. But I would definitely let my girl strip. Extra income. What you saying? <laughs> and what, what, and, exactly. And you would do it for extra income because, you know, maybe she needed her or whatnot. But, uh, you know, Randy and, and Juice just, they wouldn't allow their girls to get that money. They just want them to just be broke and, you know, doing nothing. <laughs> they, act, they act like they're uh, like doing extra stuff at the strip club. Man, they, man you gotta admire your girl. Let's go ahead and do her thing, man. Yeah, but they've never been to a strip club, so they just don't know. Oh, they, they think it's extra stuff, but they really don't know what goes on there. They just go off of TV. You know, TV is real extra in there, you know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, Down the wrong path. That's wrong with the society today. I sound like Martin Luther King, but I'm not <laughs> Martin Luther King. No, no, true though. They they just used to, they, you know, they used to San Andreas when you get that show, CJ get the show in the back. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man. Get to do what he want to. <laughs> <laughs> San Andreas. <laughs> Nah, nah, you silly, bro. Thanks for expressing your opinion, bro. Hey, we're here to holler at y'all, man. Birds and bees be popping. <laughs> good luck, bro. All right, good luck, bro. Yeah. All right, bro. All right, yeah, see? You know what I'm saying? It's still your body at the end of the day, man. You're going to still admire that night, you know what I'm saying? You know, what you do to get that money, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not saying it's limitless, but you know what I'm saying. Just you know what I'm saying. Stripping not really as bad as y'all make it seem. Y'all saying you have y'all saying it's morally wrong and stuff like that. Like it's a job. You know what I'm saying. It gets bills paid. It gets food fed. You know maybe your kids got to eat. Cause that's what Randy was talking about. He was going into maybe later on down the road. Yeah, years old. yeah. He was saying you know later on in life you know if you have kids or or whatnot. He was saying that he wouldn't allow. You know, his girl to do it then either. Of course, he wouldn't let him do it now without kids. He wouldn't let him do it with kids. And I, I said, you know what I'm saying? Would you rather your daughter or son starve? I, you know what I'm saying? As a opposed, you know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't care if a woman was doing that. You know what I'm saying? If she needs to pay her, her, her bills or, or feed her children, why would I be upset that she's stripping to do it? You know what I'm saying? Is that, that's better than 
her being homeless or her daughter screaming because she's homeless, hungry. Bro, you're in a relationship. You got the house together. Everything is gravy. You talk about okay. Is she allowed allow to strip, bro? Right, she's still, she's everything still is still just fine, but she loves okay. the profession so much. She does it for the love of the game. Do you really care? Well, it would, okay, okay well, now you're girlfriend. saying that. No, if my, if my no. lady, if she loves her job like that, I would not take away what she loves from if her. If I didn't care then, why would I care now? I would not take away yeah, what she I loves from her. If she said, I love stripping, man. I want to keep doing this job. I'm going to keep on bringing this money on the side, even though the household is good with you doing what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I love my profession. Why would I take that from her? Why would I steal that love from her? You know, it's all about. I mean, it's all about the personal opinion. Why not? If it's, I don't care about what these other people are talking about, that's then, it, man. I mean, I, I mean, I just really don't care. Like, I, I really don't care about public opinions in the first place. That's cool. Birds and the bees. What's going on? Okay, I just wanted to state my opinion. I got different all views on this topic. I just feel like if a girl is doing that to make her money. It what makes it any different from how a guy sells drugs to make his money. That's his income. That's how he's going to survive for real. Uh, I agree with you on one point that, yes, it is getting money, but selling drugs is illegal. Okay. That's why I said to a certain extent. I also understand where you say you don't want your girl, you know, showing her body off or anything like that. But at the end of the day, a girl going to show her body off regardless. I mean, I understand it's not to that extent. Like, she has clothes on walking down the street, but at the same time, she got on tight pants. She got on the V neck that show her breasts. Like a woman's body is going to be noticed no matter what she does. So if she, she needs to strip hell. to make her money, if that's what she has to do to survive, then who are you to say, "Oh, I'm not gonna hold you down. I'm not gonna be there for you," because that's how you make your money. Thank you, Jazz. You're just hitting it everywhere. Where you're saying everything I didn't need to say. They really aren't speaking on rebuttal because they're getting whooped around. I want that. I want to hear want to Juice's it. opinion. No, no, no she's got no, her no. opinion. I don't have to say anything else because I just agree with her. She's something. saying everything that we ever needed to say. I want y'all to rebuttal. Go ahead, and say something to her. Let her know. We're fight it. What's up? My thing was, you know what I'm saying, be a point. point. No, no, he keeps passing it to Randy. Juice, I want to hear your opinion, bro. I gave it to you earlier. Tell me. Reply to this. I want to hear your opinion. You keep letting Randy speak at all, but you have the opinion that you don't want. I've been on Randy's back all day. Well, I'm on your back now. <laughs> Tell me on my back, bro. See, he don't have nothing to say. Randy, go ahead and finish, man. My thing was, it shouldn't get to a point where um, stripping should be the last option, the last resort. You know what I'm saying there's other options out there. That's but I'm you saying. can't help life. I'm a college student, okay? It's not that easy for me to find a job because something has to fit around my schedule because at the end of the day, school comes first. So if that's what I need to do to get my loans paid, to make sure my bills is paid, to make sure everything is cool, then that's what I'm going to do. You're hitting the nail on the head, Jazz. You're just, <laughs> you're saying everything that we said to Randy, but, uh, he would still leave you at the end of the day, no matter how much he loves you. So, uh, oh my goodness. You gonna leave me? That obviously I didn't leave with you in the first place. You oh, thank you. Girl. Oh my you god. Don't, girl. Girl. <laughs> hey, thanks for calling in and giving yeah, us your opinion, good, man. Good input. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you. Man, dude, everybody is just agreeing with us just over and over and over and over again. Like, yeah. It's just out of control. And then, like, oh, shout out to, to Shana because. She even giving us a whole lot of good input. She's still texting my phone. She um she asked Randy a question. Yeah, I've seen the fact oh, shout out to Tashana, um, Reggie, Twan, Tally, all y'all, because y'all do agree with us too, with me and Kendall. Hey, and our shout out to Rashad. Shout out to Rashad. She agreed too. Shout out to George because he agreed. Hey, shout out to Shelly because she flicked and she agreed with us. Real quick, but here's what I'm saying though. All right, go ahead. No, because this is going towards you. It's a question to you because she asked you. Um, who's on break? She asked Randy. Um. Dang, rather than, you know, rather than like, you know, like her, you know, like him, like breaking up with her, you know, like you said earlier, would he go out and would he go strip for her instead if that was the last resort, if that's just what he had Birds to do, he had no other options, would he go do it because he doesn't want to see her on the pole? And Brady's response was, no, first. And then, and then I changed my mind. Then changed my mind. Hold on, who, who was that? All right, hold on. Uh, we got to call her. Randy will give us a opinion in about two seconds. Hold on. Yo, Birds and the Bees, what's happening? Hey man, it's pretty man. Okay, so first of all, on the, I'm still on this stripper topic, man. I'm gonna have to agree with my son TJ on this one. Of course you will. If we are already good in our relationship, if we okay. already have our house, already have our family, already have our kids, oh, yeah, and yeah. she's okay. still she stripping, yeah. Yeah. what the hell is she doing? It's cool. Why is she doing that? Okay. No, no, we. 
Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that. Well, if you're gonna break up with her and break up your family, then that's crazy. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, no, that's a that's a good point. You know what I'm saying? At that point, you know what I'm saying? I can't I can't agree with you. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're 30 years old. Your family is established. You you got everything going good. You know what I'm saying? I, no, I didn't. I said that I wouldn't tell her. I wouldn't tell her to quit what she loves. That's what I said. I said I wouldn't tell her to quit a job that she loves doing. That's what I said. Yeah, but but I'm I'm agreeing with pretty. Yes, I am agreeing with him. I said that it would be okay if, for. To be upset at the fact that she would be stripping. Hey, be quiet, man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm talk but that girl said that called it. So if I said I love driving, I just love selling weed so much. I just love how it feels in my hand. <laughs> Is that okay? Uh. Well, well, going back to, like I said, that is illegal. So, no, that is never okay at any age. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm just saying, when it comes to the family dinners and everything, and it's just like, yeah, man, well, you guys have a successful family. You have a nice house. You know, uh, what do you guys do to keep it up? Yeah, I, I mean, Rashawn, I know what you do. Cause you, you know, I, your family, you know, you know what you do. What does your wife do? Oh yeah, she's a stripper. <laughs> and if if she exactly. loves if she loves that job, she would she would say it proudly. But if she doesn't, then if she's ashamed to say it, then maybe she shouldn't be doing that job. I'll I'll make up a job. She works with me. <laughs> I'll never tell her that my girl's a stripper. Well, then in that case, you probably wouldn't have been with her at 30 years old because if you can't agree with her profession and you're scared to tell people what your wife or your, you know what I'm saying, your your lady is doing, your, the mother of your child is doing, you gotta be you know proud what I'm saying? If you're not proud of her by that time in life, proud. then you guys shouldn't be together. Just, just I guess so then. That, that's what I was saying in the first place. That's why I was agreeing with Randy. Okay. If we're established at 30 years old, there's no reason you need to be stripper. And that's all I got to say. All right. Thanks for calling in, bro. Yeah. yeah but real said, quick though, I did change on, my man. mind like on that topic. Um, no, no, no. Let me finish it because it was, it was, it was just. I want to hit so this. Quick. I want to hit this sub though, real quick. I, I hear what y'all saying, but but that, but about, that is a sub in itself. It is a sub, and I say you don't have to hit that sub because you need to hit this. Sub. It's important though, but I will hit this okay. sub. Like hit I said, hit your sub. Would you let your sub. daughter strip? Yes. I'll say it again and again. If that's what, if that's her decision when she turns the age of eighteen. I, all, all I ask is that, so, she, is that she comes to me first. If she, if she has no other means and we got all the same things that's going on right now, I just ask that she would come to me first. We talked about this. Oh, man, y'all kidding me. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, turn your radio down. Hey, 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 Okay. okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, everyone has a choice, you know, but I wouldn't agree with my daughter being a stripper. Oh, yeah, you said you wouldn't agree with your daughter being a stripper? The guy agrees with that. How would he feel if one of these guys, she meet out on the street? How is he going to handle that situation? He can touch her the way that he touched her in the club. Well, in the strip club, you shouldn't be touched by anyone. But if I don't understand, I don't know what you mean. Like, how would he handle that? Like, if somebody was, if he agrees, if he agrees to his girl working in a in a club, you know, I don't know exactly what goes on. Yeah, I look at the TV. Yeah, of course. But. I do know that they get lap dances, and they do have to be touched to put the money on the person, on that girl's body. Yes. True. Yeah, but I, I, when I imagine you saying touching, I, I'm sorry for assuming, but I figured you were saying like groping and uh, things of that nature. I'm quite sure it goes on. You know, you can go to a club, you know, to be touched. You know, a lot, that's a lot of guys going there. They're not at home. They're going to be going there to be touched. You know, I'm like, it's not all the women that dances in places like that, you know, put themselves in that position or they know how far to take it, you know. But it's just when you out on the street, you know, and you, and you, and you want to cross someone that, that knows you dance in the club, you know, you don't, you don't want them to 
relate to you as you are in that club, but that's the only way they know you. Okay, I agree with that. But you, so you're saying, you, what if somebody was to like just judge you based off of what you're doing, or like was to touch you in the streets? Yes, that's what you said. Okay. Well, being the man, being as if my girl was was to get approached by a guy who wanted to touch her because of what her profession is, or was to you know speak uh, foully to her about what her job was, and I was there to witness that, it would be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because that's still my girl. At the end of the day, I'm gonna protect her. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let anybody just do what they want to do to her because of, of her job. I If I agree with her doing that job, then why should I let anyone else, you know what I'm saying, uh, make her feel bad about something that she loves or something that she has to do? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to protect her. I would not let anybody grope her in the streets because they know what she does on the, on the after hours to get money. I wouldn't let them do that to her. Yeah, and that's, that's part of, you know, having that respect, you know, for herself. And you respecting your girl, what she does. But it's just my opinion. I just don't agree with it, you know. Because it's just, it's, everyone makes their money the way that they being put, you know. But to me, it's just, it's not, it wouldn't be acceptable for me to accept my daughter doing something like that. Okay, that, that's a good I point. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for calling Thank in and, and, and letting us know how you feel. Oh wait, actually I got a question. Yes. Why is it unacceptable for you being a mother? Because me and my girls, I didn't raise them that way. I know a lot of people probably didn't, but yeah. I just wouldn't want to see my daughter working in that type of environment. Of course. Okay. Thank you for calling in and giving us uh, the input. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you for listening. We appreciate it, man. She hit the sub too. That's what that's what we were just talking about. You know what I'm saying, what do y'all got to say about that? Yeah, she I mean, working in like, like I was saying, saying, okay, like okay, so far as goes, so far as it goes for making money, whether it's stripping, whether it's selling. I mean, because I know a lot of people, a lot of my, a lot of my fan, a lot of, I mean, a lot of people who had to do a lot of, a lot of stuff that may be frowned upon by society to make money in order to survive and do what they had to do. So I mean, as far as that, I, that's that's out the window. But when we hitting this sub, when we talking about, you know. Your daughter, you know your daughter, is. and you know the future and everything else. I mean, it's it's like 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 she said, you she, you would hope that you would raise your daughter the right way, that she wouldn't have to take right. that that path. You feel me? So I mean, it's not about just her being grown and she doing what she want to do or doing what she got to do. About that. It's about you know you hoping that you instilled in the right values, and that she has enough character where that she wouldn't want to do something like that, that she would go else and find, find someone. Yeah. It's not about how you raise them. It's always about yeah, them, bro. Being a stripper does not make you fast, faster than the next person or that Nobody works at, that. that works at McDonald's. Nobody, Nobody, said, that, Nobody said that, bro. Nobody said that. Then what are you saying? Yeah, what are you saying that it, it should be, that she should, it should be in her values, man. She should value herself enough to where she shouldn't go. That's that doesn't make her, exactly. myself as a parent. That doesn't make her yeah, any less, we're any not going to keep on yelling. That doesn't, yeah, man, this doesn't make her any less of a person than the person that works at Target. Nobody said it. Nobody said person. that, bro. That's Nobody's what, that's what everyone's insinuating by saying no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want them to do. I would hope that I raised her well enough that she can go work at look, Target look, instead of working look, at the strip club look, to get her money. We're not talking about working at Target. It. Okay, okay. Y'all need to understand. He doesn't have a problem with it. So that's why he said like, yeah, y'all looking at it, you know, it's like two different jobs. They have a problem with it. So that's why they're looking at it as two different jobs. They saying that they did not raise her to go into a strip club. That's what they're saying. Now look, you know, look at what her mom they, is saying. What her mom is saying. I'm touching on what her mom just said that's right cool. now. That's cool. Her mom touched on that. I'll say everybody has their own opinion. Yeah. That's why y'all feel no. So that's why y'all feel like it's just a different kind of job. He says, yeah, so that's why he feels like it's a job is a job. That's why I feel the same way too. I don't have a problem with it. Now whether my mom feels the same, well, feels different because she said her, she said her, she said her grandmother would step in. That's fine, but I still don't have her dad does not have a problem with it. Just come ask me first, and I'll be fine from there. So regardless that's of that's my family member, regardless of whether it's a girl or a daughter, you start, you the profession eight. it doesn't matter. No, oh, let, let's just call. Hold on. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Hey, this is Coco. I wanted to talk about the stripper topic. Right. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so this is how I feel, and I'm sitting next to a shot. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, of course, stripping is very debating. Everybody knows that. But not everybody comes from a money, like, family with money. And a lot of people in college, 
have to find like ways to pay for it. Like college is three twenty dollars, but working an eight fifty job at McDonald's or at a store is not gonna cut paying twenty thousand dollars plus for a tuition. Not to even include your living expenses, clothes, and then just to be grown. And it's like I feel like if you're shipping, but in the end you're gonna become a doctor or a lawyer or just and then you talk, uh, then I feel like that's okay because some people you have to get your money that's gonna work for you to have the life that you want in the end. I don't support shipping for like if you're thirty years old and you're married. But if you have to do that to get through college for a couple of years and come on making eighty, ninety, a hundred thousand or more, then why not? Thank you for calling in. I agree with you fully. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do to get where you need to be. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how you got there, yeah, but it matters where you're early. going. You know what I'm saying? And I agree with you because of that. Thanks, Thanks for calling in. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. That was good. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, but like I said, like, you know, just like she literally just said, you know, it was just about different places you growing up, right? I mean, it's just a difference of opinion. Like, you know, everybody can feel whatever. Like I'm just saying, bro, feel. like, everybody had to sign, like, they had to do certain stuff that's, that may be frowned upon by society right. in order to give money. We ain't even just talking about shit. Yeah, we have to talk about everything. We're talking about a lot of stuff. But, but for y'all, but for some of y'all to sit here and just frown on it, whether who it is doing it, you just, you can't do that to yourself. You just, you really just can't do that. Because regardless, they still get money. They're not out here you know, um, they get certain about the whole, you know, they get, you know, certain about the, about the whole government, you know, they're not just, you know, relying on the government to get them whatever they want, you know, you know, feeding off of everybody else. They're out here doing what they got to do to get their own kind of money. So they have something for themselves. That's what I'm talking about. But regardless of what Randy was talking about, Randy was talking about he has a problem with his government during the period. If that's what she has to get, if that's her just means of getting her own money, he should not have a problem with it. That's what I'm saying. That's my opinion. That's Kendall's opinion. That's everybody's opinion. Who to call in today? And thank you for calling in today too. Yeah, we had a lot of calls yeah, on this. We appreciate all the phone calls. Though. Their opinion is it just yeah. don't need to happen. Period. Because they just being real selfish. Because that's just you know, their I mean, body. Exactly nobody else are biased, bro. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's not about to happen. Look, <laughs> man. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, bro, you can't end the show like yeah, that. You're not I'm talking about you gotta, like yeah, you gotta, yeah. I didn't end it. Are oh, you guys still talking? I didn't end it at all. Keep talking. No, guys. but I'm saying you try to close out on that note, yeah, bro. bro. I didn't close out. Everybody, you know everybody entitled to their opinion, bro. You can't wait one way. I said thank you. I said thank you. I love everybody's bro. opinion. I said thank it's you. I love it. You call it selfish, though. Don't try to flip it. You are selfish. I'm not selfish, bro. Yeah, we'll talk about this on the walk. We're not going to be here for another hour, y'all. But we do appreciate all the phone calls. It's 10 o'clock. Sorry, it got so crazy, man. We'll see y'all back Again on Wednesday, it's my birthday, so you know the show gonna be crazy. As always, not though. Tuesday, Wednesday's his birthday. Yes, Wednesday. Wednesday. I don't know what y'all talking about, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for calling in. We do love y'all, we do appreciate it, yeah. we really do. Kids is on Wednesday, oh, yeah, man. Birthday. Even if y'all think we're a little bit crazy, we still do appreciate y'all. Got a nice little song going in, man. You catch us Wednesday, um, at, from uh, 8 to 10. This is uh, Avery, Juice, Randy, and Kills. It's on with y'all. Thanks for listening, to everybody, and all the new listeners. Thank you. Mind when you're working till three. If you're leaving with me, go make that money, money, money.